it is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below okay gemini it looks like there's a final decision or there looks like a reconciliation that's coming towards you okay because you have the two of cups on your mind you're in love with someone and this person is in love with you so there's definitely a connection that you feel with someone this is a very strong soulmate connection i think it could have been a breakup between you guys okay or you guys are in separation right now okay because of which with the five of cups here in the current situation there's a lot of disappointment regret and a sadness and grief around a situation, okay? Or a, around a situation that didn't work out in the past. Getting this person here who regrets doing something that they did, okay? The Five of Cups here, it feels a lot of regret, a lot of disappointment, okay? I feel someone here who's like, shit, I love her so much, I love her so much, I shouldn't have messed that up. Because in the past year, I feel someone was very logical, okay? Someone was being very cold, very detached. You could have cut someone off, okay? Because uh, you were being very straightforward and very truthful about what you wanted from this person, okay? You knew what you wanted and you knew what you had to do. And it's like you could have cut someone off. Or there was someone here who was being so cold towards you, okay? They were suppressing their emotions and which is why things led to a breakup. This person wouldn't have told you the truth is what I'm getting. They were misusing their power misusing uh whatever their intellect or whatever and uh trying to emotionally uh, trying to manipulate you in some way i feel this person here had a lot of love for you okay or has a lot of love for you but they didn't show it whatever for multiple reasons because of which you had to let this person go or they had to let you go and now someone has a lot of regret here what you don't see coming over the emperor here is the root of the issue so yeah someone wants to take control of the situation now could be the same person that you cut off in the past and this person wants to come in and they want to take control of their life they want to control control of the situation they want to provide be the provider they want to support the situation they want to support you they want to marry you they're dead serious about you okay they're definitely thinking of marriage or commitment Someone's bossing up here. And with the chariot here, I feel, I, I'm, I'm not getting, this is you moving on. I'm getting someone who's coming towards you. This could be travel. Someone's wanting to travel towards you. You could be in a long distance relationship. But someone's wanting to come towards you full speed. Okay, gathering their shit together. Let's see. What's the judgment here? You could be dealing in a situation where someone wants commitment, you want commitment or they want commitment and you haven't been giving it to them and that's why you guys are keeping or butting heads, okay? The love is there but someone doesn't want to take it to the next level, okay? And this, the reason is that someone was just emotionally very shut off and being very cold. They had their own reasons, well, we'll find out. Let's see, why is the judgment here as the overall energy? Why is the judgment here? Someone has a realization finally. Someone's no longer wanting to ignore the signs from the universe that you're the one for them. What's the judgment here? Yeah. Someone misses you. Someone that you have abandoned. Someone who you who feels left out by you. You've alienated this person. You're no longer talking to this person. There's no communication, okay? That's the kind of person who wants to come back towards you and they want um, commitment with you. But with the moon here, this person has a lot of fears around the situation, okay? I think they're trying to sneak in. This person is not being very honest about what they feel about you, okay? It's like they know it. They have this kind of realization that they know what they want. But I think this could be someone here who had a bad past, okay? Or someone where the relationship didn't work out. This person probably is very fearful of commitment here, okay? And they're stressing about it. They feel very deeply for you, okay? Very deeply. They're in tune with their intuition. I'm getting someone here who thinks and dreams a lot about you, especially in the night time here okay but they see you as the one okay and because you've abandoned this person here they're just you know i think this person misses you a lot also they miss the times that they had with you you know it's like they see the potential or they saw the potential of you guys coming together as a couple as a power couple get being in a marriage, being in a long-term commitment, wanting to have kids, whatever, right? They see you as the one and they only have eyes for you. But with the moon here, there is some kind of fear that's holding this person back from coming towards you, okay? But I just feel that with the moon here, this person feels a lot. They feel deep, but they are still not ready to... Um, let go of their fears okay now the moon to me is yes it is fierce but to me it is a lot of unrealistic fears 
You know, they can sense you. They can feel you at night. Okay, they're very deeply connected to you. But they're keeping their feelings to themselves. You could be dealing with a very closed off person, you know, or someone who's reserved. And that's what's probably messing with your emotions. Probably this is where you feel that you're in the dark about something. Because this person conceals a whole lot of feelings. Okay, or their intentions. But their fears that they have with you, they're all based on their past experiences. Okay, that's why you probably keep feeling that something's hidden from you. Okay, and you feel you don't know everything about this person. You could be feeling very insecure when it comes to this person or just a lack of clarity all over. Okay, but they definitely want you for sure. Okay, definitely want you for sure. And they're going to try a way to sneak into your life or to come back towards you. I think this is someone who's strategizing of how to come towards you. Yeah, because the person you're dealing with, Gemini, now you could be dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or you could have this in your birth chart. What's the king of swords in the past? Give me one look out for the king of swords. Hmm. Someone in the past here, they were very happy with you, for sure, okay? They were emotionally very, very content. They realized that they love you and the love was there, okay? They realized that they wanted you and they, you were the one for them. But I feel this person was keeping you at arm's length, okay? So this person here, they would probably, uh, you probably did reconcile or whatever, but you guys were good together as a team, you know, you guys would chill, hang out. But, you know, more as best friends, yes, maybe there were, the, the love was there, right? But when it, when it came to crossing... Uh, and taking things to the next level, as in get into a committed relationship, that's when things were not working out for you. Because you could be dealing with someone here, you know, who is always wanting to be single, okay? This person does not believe in commitment, yeah? This person is okay on their own. They're very confident that they can have whatever they want. They can get whatever they want or whoever they want here. And I feel there was some change that happened in the past, okay? Something could have changed, okay? Uh, but things took a turn for the worst, there could have been some communication that happened in the in the past, which took a turn for the worst, okay? And where you felt probably that this person was being emotionally very manipulative or someone you were dealing with who probably even came and told you that, you know what, I don't think I can make things happen with you, okay? It's just not happening. You could be dealing with someone who was very in and out of your life, very wishy-washy. I feel, again, someone here who was very likely to want to be with you forever okay and they still do but someone you don't know who was just like every single time they thought things were getting too close or you guys were getting too close they would run for the hills okay because they didn't want anything uh i mean they you know how can i explain this they want something serious with you but when it comes to putting it out there okay or being in the public that's when they didn't want it this person was losing or lacking the confidence of making things happen with you, which is why things never changed. Or even if things changed, it changed for the worst. Okay. Why is the five of cups here? Why is the five of cups here? We have the king and the queen here. You know what I'm getting, Gemini, that you're cutting this person out and you're choosing to make a choice, a very major decision. Although you feel a strong soulmate connection to this person, Gemini, you're in pursuit of your happiness. And if this person is not about to give you what you want, even though you share this strong bond with this person, this strong connection, even though you love them, they love you. For you, it's like you're, you're, you're wearing a false mask. You have a whole lot of feelings for this person deep down, but you feel crushed. You feel hurt by this person. You feel cheated. You don't trust this person. And that's why probably you're making a choice to move away from this person. Because with the sun here, I feel somewhere, somehow, this person has kept you in the dark, okay? Again, with the moon card here, right? That's the kind of feeling that this person constantly gave you. That you're left in the dark. I'm not going to give you the clarity. And you're like, you know what? That's fine. I'm still going to do what makes me happy, okay? And with the sun card here, I feel you're wanting to move forward or at least move away from this person because probably sometimes we don't really get the closure we want. We don't really get the clarity we want, but you want to definitely do what makes you happy, okay? Your main goal is happiness out here. You do see a lot of potential with this person, but if this person is not about to come and give that to you, it's just going to be a tough choice for you and you're going to make that tough choice and just move towards 
your happiness okay i feel you have a lot of regret for this person here but you're just wanting to move forward and move away and no longer be bothered about this situation okay it's taking a lot of strength from you you have a lot of passion and attraction and love for this person but i feel you're tempering your emotions you know you're tempering the entire situation and wanting to hold back and resist this person what's the two of cups here on your mind You can even feel that this person is your twin flame, which is my, it's making this connection even more tough. What's the two of cups here on your mind? You probably want a relationship with this person. You love them, but it's like right now you have no choice but to move on, or but to just go ahead and do what makes you happy. Yeah, because you want to look at life in a more uh, positive way rather than staying there in that stagnant negative energy. What's the two of cups? a lot of love for this person okay you do but i feel you're finally finding that balance okay you're finding that head and heart balance okay that you didn't have in the past you probably were emotionally very imbalanced in the past here okay i think you want to move towards this person but instead you know um you have a lot of hope and faith that things will work out someday with this person here okay but again, I don't see you as taking action. But what I do see you is I see you as moving away from this person. Even though your heart is heavy, okay, with a heavy heart, the connection is there. You feel it. You want it, okay. It's very deep. But it's like, you know what, you're no longer wanting to let your emotions overpower you, okay. You're not letting your emotions get the best of you. It's like, yes, I love you. I'm going to love you from a distance. Watch you. Having hope and faith, wishing, praying that someday things will work out between us, okay. But it's just like you want to move away. You want to move away from the situation and you want to get into a better place. Because right now, the kind of place that you are in, it's like you're in choppy waters right now, right? And you want to surrender to the situation. You want to make this, you don't want to make this road more difficult than it seems by staying there, okay? You want to come out of choppy waters, but you feel the need to move away from this situation. You want to leave the situation which created nothing but a lot of stress and tension, okay? You want that mental rest is what I'm getting. And by physically or mentally distancing yourself from this person, you're trying to release all that, okay? It's like I'm getting that um, you're going with the flow and whatever happens, happens, okay? Wherever the wave takes you is what I'm getting here. Yeah. You've left this solution. This is the only solution that you see. And you feel you're going to find relief by doing this and you'll get into a calmer place, okay? But this departure on your mind is very important even though you have love for this person. You're being very intuitive right now. Very intuitive right now, Gemini. If not you, this is the person you're dealing with. But there's definitely, that's been an ending. There's been a huge ending here between you guys, okay? Something ended here between you guys. I was an ending that had to happen so that you can shed the old and then you can come in or this relationship can have a rebirth or so that the person that you were dealing with, they can let go of anything toxic and they can become a better version of themselves, okay? So whatever, but an ending was very important here. It's like a blessing in disguise. Tell me about the emperor here. One more card for the emperor. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and the Devil here. This person lives more in their fear, the kind of person that you're dealing with. Okay, this is someone who's very stubborn very stubborn okay it's like my way or the highway and that's what is very very toxic this is what needs to go from this person with the devil here the devil and the emperor here that is someone who's stubborn as fuck okay and this is a huge codependency that this person has i think this person has a very um they can't take rejection 
okay so after screwing things up with you this person is very heavily thinking about you okay they're wanting to they, they're just waiting and watching okay because this person has a lot of love for you but they're waiting for the right time to approach towards you but at the same time there's this kind of fear that's stopping them from taking control of the situation okay they're not thinking logically right now they want to take control of the situation but they're not thinking logically right now they're still waiting okay waiting and waiting and waiting for things to turn into their favor or waiting for whatever but again it's like i have destroyed everything between me and gemini and uh, is gemini going to take me back or is gemini going to just reject me they fear rejection here i'm um, big time okay because with the devil here this person i'm telling you this person cannot stand rejection they see you as the empress. We have the emperor and the empress here, okay? So this person sees you as someone they want a future with. They want to marry you. They want to be with you for long term, okay? They want to be with you forever. They see you as abundant. But again, with the empress here, I feel this person looks at you like, you know, you're mine. They could be someone very possessed about you. But they just don't know what is the right way or the right approach to come towards you. Because again, there was a lot that happened in the past between you guys because of which this person just probably feels that this is something that's irreversible. What's the chariot in the near future? Yeah, someone's coming towards you and I feel this person is someone here definitely who had commitment issues with you, okay? I feel this person somewhere, somehow here is finally going to realize they're going to let go off, okay? Because they feel if they don't approach you at the right time, it's going to be a missed opportunity here, okay? I feel this person is definitely going to release that toxic ways and they're going to come towards you because you see, I feel this person here is now wanting to rush towards you, okay? And they're wanting to put in the work that they didn't in the past. Maybe you put in a lot of work in the past and you felt this is just going to be like a waste of time or it is a waste of time because you didn't something come, you didn't see something come into fruition, okay? You, can, you didn't get the rewards of your hard work. So this person who's coming out here, I feel this person is very intuitive, okay? And someone who knows a lot, they speak a lot, they feel a lot, but they don't really say anything. But I feel when this person comes in towards you, okay, trust your intuition, okay, with the high priestess here. I feel whoever this person comes in towards you, they're finally going to be ready to reveal their feelings, Okay? They're going to be re ready to reveal their feelings and they're going to be ready to put in the work on this relationship. And then I tell you in the uh, like in the beginning of the spread that I feel someone's coming towards you. This is you not moving out. This is someone coming towards you and they're rushing in. Okay. The chariot and the knight of wands, that's quick speed. Okay. It's going to come out of nowhere. But this person is finally going to gather their shit together and the success to this relationship or connection is going to be only through willingness, determination. Okay. They want to win on an energetic level with you. Okay. And now they're ready to do it. They're ready to make things happen between you guys, okay? <coughs> so that's what I have for you. If you need to know more about the person that you're dealing with, you can click on the to the extension below in the description box, all right? Bye-bye.